for a sample of dry cohesionless soil with friction angle phi the failure plane will be inclined to the major principal plane by an angle equal to so here it is asked that uh, failure plane inclination with major principal plane so angle between failure plane and major principal plane so you have to find out angle between the failure plane and major principal plane so the given data is what given data is friction angle is phi and cohesion is zero because since it is cohesion less soil okay that is given cohesion less soil so now how to uh, find out angle by the con the using the concept of concept of uh, pole you can find out the angle between any two planes so to use the concept of uh, use the concept of pole you need to draw the more circle so let us draw more circle by using this given data you have the fri phi friction angle you have the cohesion so so i'll draw the more circle tau sigma more circle at failure this is more circle at failure so more circle at failure that means this is more colu failure envelope this is more colum failure envelope this line this line represents failure envelope touches at one point okay so what is this angle this is friction angle c is zero that's why it is passing through the origin and it is making an angle phi with uh, sigma axis that is friction angle so it is touching at one point to the more circle this more circle is the stress conditions conditions in soil at failure if you draw more circle taking the stress conditions in soil at failure that more circle will touch the more coulomb failure envelope at one point wherever it is touching that stress condition will exist at the failure plane right so, so let us take any element of soil okay which represents this more circle corresponding more circle so let us apply principal planes okay let us take okay let us assume there is sigma 3 sigma 1 okay now sigma 1 is greater than sigma 3 this is major principal plane sorry major principal stress this is minor principal stress minor principal stress this is major okay so let us consider this element now these are at failure these two are at failure let us say so now this is failed along one plane it will fail along one plane it will fail so on that plane sigma f and some tau f these two uh, these two stress conditions will be existing on this plane so what uh, what are those two stresses those two stresses are this okay this is sigma f comma tau f okay remaining all planes will also be subjected to some sigma and some tau 
so they are all these points okay these points are all representing remaining planes but remaining planes will be well below under this more so more coulomb failure envelope other than the one that one single point that single point is touching this that's why that single plane will fail that means total soil is fail now if you know the pole position then you can draw easily all the planes and you can find out the angle between the planes so how to find out the pl uh, pole so as we have taken this uh, random sam uh, soil element where sigma 1 sigma 3 you can take this as sigma 1 and this as sigma 3 the direction there is no change in the concept so i am taking vertical uh, stress as sigma 1 so as sigma 1 is major principal stress um, what are uh, principal stresses where there is there is no shear stress if there is no shear stress on the plane that normal stress is called major or minor principal stress if it is bigger major principal stress if it is lower minor principal stress so as the y coordinate that is tau value is 0 this will become principal stress so the major will be here and minor will be here okay this is sigma 3 this is sigma 1 now what is pole according to this diagram so now to draw the pole you need to use the concept of drawing the pole that is so you just have to draw you have to draw these two planes in this Mohr circle how to draw these two planes so just the concept that sigma 1 is acting on horizontal plane so you draw a horizontal line through sigma 1 ok I am drawing a horizontal line through sigma 1 ok horizontal line because there is horizontal plane and where is sigma 3 acting sigma 3 is acting on vertical plane so I will draw a vertical line through sigma 3 so I am drawing a vertical line through sigma 3 so wherever these two lines are uh, touching that is pole ok this is pole this point now from pole you can draw any lines and you can find out the angle ok now see remember whenever you are finding the pole you are drawing two lines two perpendicular lines right why two perpendicular lines you have to take the stresses see sigma 1 I have taken and sigma 3 I have taken for drawing this pole those two stresses to should be on two perpendicular planes then two perpendicular lines you can draw anyway now I know the pole and I need what which planes one is failure plane I need another one is major principal plane you just have to draw two lines that's it in color I will take black so when you connect pole and when you connect pole and failure point you will get failure plane that is the concept of pole see this is this is failure plane because I am connecting pole and failure point and I should connect pole and major principal stress so that I will get major principal plane so this is major principal stress so I am connecting these two so this is my major principal plane this is my major principal plane so I know two planes now I just have to find out the angle how to find out this angle so let us take first so suppose this is center this is center of the circle let us say this is O and this is failure point so I will denote it by F and this is origin so, so sorry center let us denote it by C C F O is one triangle O F C is one triangle and this is 90 degrees because the angle between tangent and the radius which is connecting that point of intersection of the tangent and circle and the center so that line will make always 90 degrees so that means this is 90 degrees so if this is 90 degrees 
I mean if this is phi and what is this angle in this triangle in this big triangle O F C this will become 90 minus phi because this is 90 and this is phi and this is 90 minus phi so total 180 but now what do I need let us say this is pole P but I need this angle right what is this angle in, in which, uh, so uh, let us consider this triangle, this triangle, I need this, I need this angle, alpha, alpha is 6 C P F, so that is, so in CPF triangle CPF in triangle CPF CF and CP so I will draw that so this is center this is C this is F this is P this is center ok so this is radius this is also radius right D so r equal to r c p equal to c f then <coughs> this angle we know this angle we know 90 minus phi this angle so we need to find out this angle alpha right if you know this angle the alpha plus 90 minus phi plus this angle should be give 180 degrees but what is this angle as cp equal to cf cp equal to cf this also should be equal to alpha according to the triangle rules so now alpha plus alpha plus 90 minus phi equal to 180 alpha equal to 45 plus phi by 2 right this is 2 alpha this is 90 minus phi this is 180 so this 90 will get cancelled you will get 90 right so this alpha become plus 2 alpha equal to 90 then alpha equal to 45 plus phi by 2 right so answer is 45 plus phi by 2 D. Thank you.